Hello, and welcome to the second installment of Making Food with Nathan Douglas Day. Today, Nathan doesn't really have anything to do, so he will be making what he later names Alan. If you want to follow along at home, you will need the following ingredients. Fresh pig beetroot, carrots, peas, as many beans as you can find on the dying vine, and a few of the larger marshmallow weed leaves. Once these are collected, lay the beetroot, carrots, beans, peas, and marshmallow leaves on the table with the cucumber that you picked yesterday. As well as the chopping board, you will need a grater, a vegetable peeler, and a large, sharp knife. Begin by cutting the leaves from the beetroot as if they were the heads of your enemies. And then do the same to the carrots as if they were the children of your enemies. Next, take the cucumber and grate almost the entire thing onto the chopping board. Then remove the long, thin, dangly bits from the carrots and do the same to them. You will notice that the pile of green quickly becomes a pile of orange, and if that doesn't cheer you up, I don't know what will. Once that is completed, you will need to peel the beetroot, because they already taste enough of soil, and then grate them up as well. Once everything is looking great, it's time to chop the beans and peas into nice, small, thin chunks. This is the time that you will notice you need a bowl. Make the contents of the chopping board the contents of the bowl, and then completely mess them up with a fork. Slowly, everything will become purple, because beetroots tend to convert all other foods to their way of life. Now it is time for the taste test. Put a generous heap into your mouth. You will notice that it is not very nice. But that's okay, because you can just find something that is nice, like some suave non blanc from the other night, and pour in a heap of that. For no reason, put the bottle in the way of the camera and give it another stir. Once all the wine is stirred through, give it another taste. Hmm, that doesn't taste great either. Oh well, you can't win every day. Take and serve Alan to your family and their guest. But maybe don't tell them what's in it. Even though it tastes quite poor, combined with other foods, it should give you adequate energy for tennis. Oh.